Hello, um, back again with another ranty video. Um, so we're going to do a bunch of things in this video today. We're going to have a pretty much a mukbang um, and an unboxing slash haul. Um, there will be cats in the background. I'm not sure how long I have because I live in a garage. I'm not ungrateful. I'm just short on time and I'm very just tired today. So from my favorite place, uh, favorite pizza place locally is Buddy's Pizza and they did a custom order pizza of which it has tomatoes on it and I am very allergic to them um, intestinally, not orally or topically. That is a thing. Um, <laughs> I have autism and ADHD to no one's surprise and I was actually diagnosed as a child but then my parents didn't tell me about the diagnosis so that's why I, I do all of the things and I am like this. Um, I am very stereotypical. Um, okay, so anyway, yeah, Buddy's Pizza, amazing. Um, I am poisoning myself a little bit. I will have a flare up later, but right now I don't care because I love tomatoes and I miss them. And I swear to God, if I don't have what I want right now, I'm going to, I'm going to combust or somebody's going to pay for it. And I'm trying not to do that because I don't like um, exploding on people. I don't really think I've ever actually exploded on a person due to my autism, actually, but it's just, it's been more me like melting down near them <laughs> because that's what happens. And yes, there are three cats and they are my boys and I love them. Um, no, you cannot has the pizza. Not for kitty cats. Heck off. Um, this is going to be so delicious and hurt so much. You guys still can't have it. Um, so for where I am locally, Buddy's does a really, really, really great sourdough crust. Better than Mambo's by like far, even before Mambo's went really shitty in their pricing and stuff. Um, amazing. Uh, they will basically do anything on your pizza, same as um, our other local pizza place. I don't know why they don't get more popular, because they're freaking delicious, and the prices are rather affordable, um, especially when in competition with other major, you know, brands that suck. Suck, suck, suck. Bad. But this is delicious. Mm. And, yeah, I, <laughs> I double up my slices and um, essentially make it into a calzone. You can't have this. Go away. <laughs> Whoever said that to a cat in one, right? Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. They make their buttermilk ranch in house, like from scratch, like all the. Mm. Oh my god. I, so delicious. Seriously, if you're anywhere near Buddy's Pizza, go. Amazing. Mm. Oh my god. Sorry. You're gonna have to deal with this for another minute. Okay. Mm, nope. <laughs> oh my god. Bunch of goobers in here. Oh my god, seriously, this buttermilk ranch really makes everything so much better. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Look at that. No, you can't come up here right now. I know what you want, but you're not getting it. <laughs> oh. Seriously? Might as well just be a freaking ASMR mukbang. It's delicious. Um, I sincerely don't know why. Uh, why they're not more popular. So good. Mm. Mm. I got.
got the um, tomato basil um, cheese. No sauce because I don't want to completely die, but you know. <laughs> Enjoy those knuckleheads. <laughs> no, they're my, my best boys. Mochi, don't kill your brother today. You guys already stealing the show? Yeah. You're already stealing the show. Of course you are. Mm. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that good. Oh. I don't know how much of this I'll cut out, but... But anyway, because it's my channel and I can do what I want. <laughs> Within reason. This is seriously so freaking good. Like, I don't know what he does to his his crust, but it is just so crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, and the sourdough. Oh my god, it it so good. It just it's it's a true New York style. Like, if I had to compare anything to um, the pizzas in New York, it would be this. Oh my god. Okay. I'll finish in just a second. Now it's going to be playing Keep Away. <laughs> you can't have any, you jackass. No. Mm -mm. You cannot have any. No, no, no. I will say that the um, buttermilk ranch is definitely a little milky but like not in flavor just in consistency <laughs> right now or today so it might be the tail end of the batch which is fine i don't mind it goes on really well and it's so good i don't support them it's just an old cup <laughs> i just kept using it washing it of course sir sir This is not the time. You're stealing the whole show. You're much cuter than I am. All right. Moving on to the unboxing slash haul. Um, okay, almost <laughs> taking out my freaking forehead. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. That's all YouTube needs. <sighs> um, how do I break into this? God, he packaged it really well. Um, Excuse me. So I guess I should start off saying where it's from. Um, it's from uh, a creator named, uh, well, their shop name is Alarm18. And uh, they made, made, past tense. So I am sorry to be showing this to you because, you know, you won't be able to get these unless there's a secondary sale. Hold on. Um, a second sale or you find them magically, you know, uh, <laughs> Pardon the pun. Um, unless you find some magically in the wild. Um, because he's discontinued making these because they are from She Who Shall Not Be Named. Should already give you a clue. Um, these are um, made off of like her world. 
Um, they're the history books and like textbooks and they're like fully fleshed out um, as far as as far as I know. Seriously, I'm trying to find out how to break into this thing. Um, <laughs> but uh, like, okay, I think I got it. Um, but no money goes to her. No money goes to her. He's an independent. This is his creativity. It's not directly related at all. Um, and he's since stopped making them because he, you know, moral reasons, he can't do it and that's fine. Um, but I had ordered these like almost two years ago and it takes, you know, it takes time for things to be made and especially independent publishers, especially at this price, it takes forever. Um, but yeah, but he does make other magical things and, um, he, as far as I know, is the OG of this style. Um, what are you doing, sir? What are you doing? Um, I don't know. He's the OG of this style. So uh, if you see anyone making them that isn't a real person and it's using his images, they're, you know, a scam and um, whatnot. And you will not be getting the cool things. Um, there are other people who do make replicas, and I know there's a whole big debate and discussion on the morality of buying anything, um, you know, themed after her world. Um, now, I don't have an issue with somebody buying something uh, secondhand, for instance, because as far as I feel, uh, to own stuff in spite of her being the colossal which that she is um it's an act of defiance and a refusal to let someone ruin things for you that's just how i feel um supporting directly i don't support that if you still support that crazy then <laughs> you have a lot of problems um so because we are in support of our um, I like saying it because I'm part of the Alphabet Mafia, but we support the Alphabet Mafia here as well as our disabled brethren because they are also disabled and you know what? It happens. Sometimes it's born with it. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. I, don't, I can't pan down here, but... Or maybe I can, but... <laughs> oh my gosh. They're in cloth. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let me see if I can get this back to where it was. Sorry about yeah. There you go. You can't have any other. You can't have. I definitely want my pizza. Alright, anyway. So basically, it's it, none of the money is going to her. Because, again, it's not directly saying that it's from that world. So let's see what we got first. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I waited for so long. I feel like I irritated the creator though a little bit with my like, I was like, you know, if you're not, if you just want to like, you know, not, um, not, uh, make, make them or like, cause I was just feeling really bad for him getting a lot of heat on the internet and stuff. Um, I was like, you know, if you want to cancel my order and refund, that's okay. Um, you know, I don't want you to, I don't want you to feel like you have to, um, do anything, but, um, oh my God. So, <laughs> this is, oh gosh, so in order to, de okay, so first off we have um, the Tales of Beetle the Bard in the original language, the original code, with original illustrations by Luxo, Car Luxo, oh. uh, I can't read the name, <laughs> it's so great. Um, Rune translation by Hermione Granger. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see that painstakingly? Like, this guy worked so hard. Like, oh my god. I, I don't want everything to fall out, but. Oh my god. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Do you see, like. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me find something in here to show that's worthy of note. Um, there's little tissue protectors too. Oh my god. Okay, hold well, on, I think I got a haha. 
Looks like some like sort of fuzzy heart or something. I don't remember what that's from, but isn't that cool? Oh my god, okay. I don't want to spend too much on any one book. I got a rant to get to. Hello, child. Hello, orange flavored sun. To borrow some words from another create content creator. Hello. Um, I don't know where to set these so they don't get fuzzy. I might have to do this a little bit. Okay. Oh my god, they're so big. Oh my god, what she said. Hey. Ooh. Or rather, that's what they said. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Next one is this one. I have no idea what it is. This is gonna be cool. I know that much. Oh my god. Fresh cloth bag and everything. Oh, wait, I think I do know what this is. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Ha. This is a history of mad, mad <laughs> magic by Bethilda Bagshot, second edition. Um, but, oh my God, if it'll even focus. Look at that. Just, oh my God, just look at that. And it's even got her face on the back. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh lord. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm like excited but scared. Oh my god, there's an entire... Guys. Or people, everyone. Look. It's an entire book. <laughs> an entire... Oh my god. It's like actually owning the, oh, oh God, look at that. Is it, is it focusing? Oh, oh, <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh my God. I'm so glad the money isn't going to, to she or shall not be named. Like seriously, this is, this is brilliant. Um, Alarm 18, Jack, you are amazing. Um, I know that it was... I know this whole thing with her has been very difficult, but like, you're amazing. Um, thank you so much for these. Like, I'm never not gonna treasure these. These are amazing. Oh my god. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Advanced potion making. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and there's a ticket in it. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is almost as good as a Hogwarts letter. I said the thing. Uh-oh. Forget that. Oh my god. And I, I got the one um, that was not crossed, or that was uh, not, or that, that was, I got the one that was splattered and stuff, and like stained and marked and things. But it's the full book. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. I'm such a, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is just awesome. I am, I am, oh my god, I'm in heaven. Uh-oh. Alright, I, I'm definitely gonna have to, like, pause to put the, the boys away in a minute, because I am too nervous with, uh, again, living in this garage, so I just, uh, you know, the People can come home at any moment, and my babies need outside time. So, um, oh God. okay, next one. <laughs> Do I think of this? Huh, I thought the other one was, but this is Hogwarts of History. Oh my gosh. So there's like two separate ones. <laughs> and there's the checkout. Oh my God, look at this. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I feel, you know, with this whole thing, I this whole purchase, I feel like I'm reclaiming that world. You know, that horrible woman from that horrible woman. Oh my god, oh my god, this is just so cool. Like, yeah, I just, I feel like this is reclaiming it from her because honestly, when I was young, the, the stories, I know they're not like the most amazing thing and we can all hate on her all day long, 
but like they they just really helped me like they gave me something to look forward to and honestly probably more than once saved my life like legit because i was in a bad home situation as a child and you know <laughs> i was one of the millions who just fell in love with it and I, I, I personally refuse to give that up to a bully and a, um, well, let's just call her Moldy Mort. Oh my god! <gasps> the essential defense against the dark arts. Oh my lord! Get a look at that shine right there. Oh my lord. <sighs> Oh. Ah, the night bus ticket! Oh my god! Oh, this is my favorite book. No. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! There's a Latin side and um, a translated side. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to find a really cool page to show you because I want to like... Oh my god. This is beautiful. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this. Oh. Alright. Oh. You see that? Isn't that cool? He's so, oh my, I swear, Jack, you are so creative. I, I could just gush and say the same thing over and over and over again. This is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for these wonderful, lovely gifts. Like, thank you. <sighs> okay. Now on to what I wanted to rant about, and I'm a lot calmer than I was earlier, but, um, it's not without some backstory. I can say this now. Um, I used to work at Whole Foods and they were absolutely abysmal to me. Um, sorry, I'm going to set you up a little bit better. Um, eh, good enough. They were absolutely abysmal to me. The way they treated me was horrible so much that I wanted to, you know, out of existence um and i left there because a friend of mine had gotten me an introduction at this um this uh other place um that i am unfortunately still at and n my friend did you know was helping me and for a like hot minute it was okay at the place that is not whole foods but um now it's gotten to where there is this one person um what should I call him? Um, what's a name that I hate? Um, Dylan. No hate to all the Dylans out there, but I've never had a good experience with a Dylan, so, you know. Um, anyway, or let's just call him Dirtbag. Yeah, Dirtbag's better. Um, anyway, so this Dirtbag at my job is being actively aggressive and hostile to me. Like, yelling at me. Um bad mouthing me, spreading rumors. Um, he almost got physical today. So I just, uh, <laughs> my, uh, yeah, my, uh, my superiors keep doing nothing about it. Um, he has been horrible to me since he was told by a friend of his that I, um, I've been talking about him, but I haven't been talking about him. So he's listening to a rumor, perpetuating the rumor. Um, he's just, what happened today, oh, so I'll lay the situation. I walked over to the garbages cause you know, I was like, I was just like going to throw some plastic away, um, from, uh, unboxing and stuff. Uh, you know, I stock groceries, but I was gonna, um, throw some plastic away and somebody had not put a bag in the thing and it's just, it's, it's so stupid that it's annoying, but it's annoying. Um, Anyway, uh, I just looked over and I saw some, you know, garbage bags. 
And I was like, okay, garbage bag, gonna do the thing. And then he comes over and he gets angry. He's like, what are you doing? Those are ours. We pay for those. Like, there's some upstairs. And I'm like, I have a fainting disorder. I'm trying not to faint. And he's just getting hostile. And he goes into the, um, the, um, uh, meat room. I don't know. He, he's part of the butcher that, you know, rents, um, inside the, inside the main store. So they rent inside the main store. They don't actually like work for us or work with us, but, um, they're the meat counter, but they are independent. And he just storms in there and starts like slapping things around. And then I am just like shaking because, uh, you know, tall guy who hates me, who's yelling at me. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not, you know, small by any means, but like, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be violent. And I just like, he got really close and was yelling at me in my face. So I'm just terrified. And, you know, I, I my, my higher ups haven't done anything. They've actually been very ableist to me. And I've been dealing with nothing but reprisals and harassment. And I'm just, I'm, I'm over it. Um, I'm, I'm actually... I'm going to call the EEOC uh, tomorrow <laughs> because I, I've had about enough and uh, you shouldn't have to take any of this from people. You should come into work and expect a non-hostile environment and if it is hostile, you shouldn't be treat you, you know, should expect it to be corrected. Um, but if I were to detail every little thing, we'd be here for hours. Um, Suffice to say that uh, my facial expressions have been called into question and people think I'm like having a grudge or something and I'm like, listen, most of the time I can't tell what my face is doing. I do not actually have the mind body connection that I should. That's part of, you know, my autism on the spectrum. I just I, completely divorced. I can only tell because I'm looking in the viewfinder. Um, like I'm working, I'm making those overt, you know, facial expressions. I'm not, most of the time I'm not thinking about it. I am not thinking about it. And when I am thinking about it and a lot of it is like masking, heavily masking, but I'm, I'm trying to actually stop masking because it has caused me so much physical pain. Um, when I have to think about, uh, all of that but basically I got written up and a lot of my write-up was her facial expressions autism is a protected disability <laughs> however you feel about it in your day-to-day -day, autism is a protected disability okay it just is don't want to argue about it it's protected and I have told and uh, your company your work by the way in California is not allowed to question your diagnosis question your disability status they're only allowed to ask for work letters of accommodation my job has questioned my status they have questioned my disability they have put me in dangerous situations where i can actually like faint and my boss just today my, my direct supervisor i should say she put she was trying to micromanage me and put me in a dangerous situation before she was like Oh yeah, that's right. You have a fainting disorder. I forgot. Which, okay, yeah, you may have memory problems, but realize that since you have memory problems and other, other people also have memory problems, but you know, this is something I can't really afford to forget. You know, it's a disorder I've lived with my whole life and it's only just now getting finally diagnosed. The fainting thing, by the way, is POTS. It is a non-anemic uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome and it is not fun I don't like it no exercise has not helped me um, and I have been trying I uh, used to actually uh, vlog hikes um, before I just gave up and was so depressed I couldn't do anything um, but yeah no so she tried to tell me how to organize something on a shelf and I'm like how about this is what I'm doing to avoid fainting and falling on the floor and having a concussion. I just like 
<laughs> and this is constant, by the way. Like, I, and then she'll switch to, like, sending me, like, weird, like, I love you messages. And I'm like, you're not my friend. You wrote me up for unfounded, unfair things without even consulting or talking to me about the things in question. You guys have directly ignored any, any, like... Uh, improvements I've tried to suggest and then blamed me for those or blamed me for something that my coworkers are doing, which don't even get me started. We, we, uh, none of them when I watch them because they don't notice me. Yay. Invisible superpower. <laughs> like they don't notice me and I'm, I'm just watching them like toddle off and kiss their boyfriends or stare at wine. And they're not on their break by the way, or go and stare at wine and I'm just like, 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 I'm not allowed to be like that. So they shouldn't be allowed to be like that. If you're going to treat me unfairly, treat everybody unfairly, because that's the only way that it's fair. Right. And I don't, I don't personally want that, but like, yeah, sure. Blame me for something that my coworkers have done, you know, messing up the shelves, not checking numbers, just go ahead, continue to blame me for that. And then criticize my facial expressions on top of it and this is not like to say like I don't have them like no ever it's to say the majority of the time I don't know what this thing is doing unless I look at the screen <laughs> and I'm very I'm very passionate and emotional about things um a lot of people think that autism is a matter of like non-empathy and some people can lack empathy and need it to be nurtured and fostered and then other people and that's just like in general but for autism it's like more intense and for me i suffer from the double empathy problem yay all the fun none of the benefits um so yeah i'm just i'm very stressed out right now i am afraid of my uh hr and my um my uh gm and my immediate supervisors because um my HR actually tried to suggest that I sit in the room, in a very small room, with this bully. It is a very, very tiny room, the office. But she's like, it's the only private place. And I'm like, how about we have it not be private so that he can't get away with trying to kill me? Maybe. You know. Just an idea. So. Oh, I can. I, see, I know my face is freezing now because I just started dissociating which I'm aware of, you, you are, you are a lot of the time aware that you're dissociating and I'm just babbling now because, oh no. <sighs> anyway, um, da Frick! Frick dang it, I'm, I'm so done! Ah, I'm so done! Ah! So done, I'm so, so done, sorry, this, I, I, I try. <laughs> Come here, orange boy. Hug me. He likes hugs. He's a weirdo. He also drools. Squish. I love you, but you're gonna drool on me, aren't you? <sighs> so done. I'm so done. I, like, I almost worked out today. <laughs> Oh, um, I love you. It's a no. This is, oh, hello. No, you gotta say hi to the people. Yeah, I got you. This is my orange flavored son. He's <laughs> true. Mochi, why? Oh my god. Um, anyway. Um, hi, oh baby. Okay, okay. All right, all right. You're gonna drool on me. That's so gross. That's so gross. No, it's so gross. I have to wash. I have to wash so many clothes. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Um, this job is just making me absolutely nuts. I, I need to get into any of the fields that I am good at, which is childcare, library, security, minimal people, often quiet. Um, <laughs> Um, you know, makes use of my, um, my mental gifts and skills and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, if I could say where I am, I would, but, uh, 
They suck. They all suck. I don't like any of them, except for, like, I think one person. And then, oh, actually, the same guy who's bullying me, <laughs> I got another one. Um, the same guy who was bullying me is, uh, he's bullied a friend of mine who used to work there, and he made her want to as well. Um, like, she was close, and I was so mad that HR wasn't doing anything about it. They were just blaming her, and he would, like, send her notes that were all like, F this, F you, f effing clean up, you effing, effing, and just, like, so much swearing. It was so bad. Oh, and then the other supervisors in her department would be talking about her actively on the phone. And again, not seeing me down the hall. And I'm just like, you know, I can hear you, right? I have an issue with hearing. Doesn't mean I'm deaf. So anyway, um, I'm just going to keep rambling if I, uh, if I don't stop. So yeah, hate this, hate, hate this job, hate this place. Hate these people. They all suck. <laughs> Bye.